today we are leaving Chungju and we are going to a place called Gyeongju. Sound really similar. <laughs> well, the second part of their names are the same actually. Now our trip to Gyeongju is going to take about two hours or so. So while we are on our way, we are going to do our second service station stop. Ah, more potatoes. Hopefully they'll have some potatoes and we can try the ones at this place too. But as I told you last time, some of the service stations in Korea are a little bit crazy. And this one in particular, as I was doing my research, stood out to me. <laughs> Alright. This morning I asked you very nonchalantly whether you've ever done wakeboarding before. And you both said no. We haven't, no. Well at this service station, it's placed on a river. And they do wakeboarding now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy service station, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, so you can literally be on your trip one place away, stop at the service station, do some wakeboarding, uh, some wake skiing, and then carry on on your journey. That's crazy, dude. When I saw it, I was like, what? Like, that, that's insane. <laughs> and luckily, it's, it is on our uh, on our journey, on our route. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Go away for more than boys! Yeah. Pretty sick, huh? Look how green the water is, dude. That's so cool. Yeah, it's because of the reflection of the trees. dive in? Yeah, you can swim, swim. When we get down there, that's where you ride them. And then they have a little bit where you can swim around too. It's madness. It's pretty mad, huh? <laughs> yeah. I've never been to a service station on a river with water sports. <laughs> yeah, I forgot this is a service station. Yeah. Wow. Such a nice day too. It's like a perfect day for it. We've been blessed. Go get some food first. I'm hungry. Hopefully the weather stays nice. So as usual, they got all the street food sort of stuff. But each service station will have different stuff. Look at this one. It's like peanuts. Oh no, it's mini guabegi. This is like um, it's like a Korean donut sort of pastry. Interesting. Like twirled up. And these are mini versions. I love guabegi. We might have to try this. Yeah, we'll get them. That's a cheese stick. Oh insane. man, that does look insane. Dude, we might have to do another food store one actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they got a lot of new stuff here. This is a cheese stick. This? Yeah. No way. Oh, they got the takaebi one as well, and they got a pugogi one in this place. Oh. Yeah, they got a takaebi one, and then they got. That's just the inside of it. Oh, really? This is like a hot bar. I think this is a fish cakey thing. Oh, there they are. Boom, we found them. The potatoes. Oh, these ones look like glazed. Damn. Yeah, they be looking like shiny. And here is the food court. Oh, oh okay. It's a court. Yeah. Nice. Man, this is actually a super nice service station. Look there, you got seats outside on the porch with a river like. It looks like I'm about to take a test in elementary school. Oh, uh, what these? Yeah, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> There was one thing I really wanted to try from the food court. Mm -hmm. My Korean friend's been telling me for ages, I have to have the udon at a service station. Yeah. Udon is the Japanese one, the thick noodles ah. there. Apparently it's like a thing in Korea. And also what I've just noticed here is that they have a kimchi ramen. Mm. Is that what the thing on the right is? It's the thing on the oh, right. Good. So I'm thinking what we do is we'll get a noodon and we'll get a kimchi ramen from here and then I'll get some street food stuff and then we'll eat it all out there. Welcome to the second service station of <laughs> Bang. Now, let me talk you through the things. So, we have the Takaibi cheese stick and a Pugogi cheese stick. Mm -hmm. We've got this, which I got for John. This is peanut butter squid. Oh, no way! Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my oh, well, it's because John loves it. I mean, so. sorry, you got yeah. that way. Then we have the udon here, which is looking very nice. They got like a stick on the inside. Like this is a fish cake. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Got the kimchi ramen. I'm looking forward to that actually. We got more potatoes. These ones have got salt, and these ones are looking good. We've also got some ketchup in a bag. Ketchup in a bag. We'll dip them into. We've got our fish cakes. This is a hot bar, and this is a well. They're basically both just fish cakes. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then we got these again, but these ones have got the sauce that they're supposed yeah. to have. Sauce that they didn't have last time. And these are the mini 
uh, dessert things. I've never seen mini ones before, but yeah. Oh, oh, they're hard. Yeah, I expect them to be soft. Yeah, yeah they are soft. The the normal ones, they're like donuts. Oh, they're breadsticks. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, they it's basically like a, are like breadsticks. It's like a pretzel. Yeah. I haven't seen a pretzel in Korea at all. Very pleasant. Sweeter than a pretzel, but. Mm. Let's go for the taste. Let's see, I have put salt on these. Seems yeah. like they're glazed for something. I don't know what that is. Slipped. Slightly raw. Mm. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Should be cooked a little bit more than that. Uh, Potato number two. Still not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to go for one more service station. <laughs> I better hope the rafting's good. <laughs> uh, oh, we don't really have like mini plates, do we? Oh man, that ramen looks thick. Kimchi up in there. They definitely had more, like little cups inside. Mm. Oh man, that's delicious. Absolutely lovely. This is what we we're supposed to do. We we're supposed to choose the spoon. Ah. Uh, Bro. Uh, yeah, now these oh, udons. That's what I'm looking for. Too. Oops. Udon noodles are just legends. Mm. That's some good udon. Mm. I reckon. I need to get that sauce on that. That's dude. what I'm saying. And I asked when we were inside, can you get the thick noodles in the sauce? Mm. That's the perfect. Days. That's the perfect ramen. Or is it not called ramen anymore? Then it would be udon. It'd just be a spicy kimchi version of udon. Mm. Now I've never had a bad ramen in Korea. Before I guess I'm melty. Give the cheese stick a go. The dakaibi one. Try the red one first. Why have I not had these before? Mm. This is just so good. Is this a thing in Korea and I just didn't know about it all this time? Hey, did these exist outside of the service stations? I've never seen one before. I need to start putting these vendors on every corner. That's what I was saying, with a little pop-up truck, at least on a night out. That's just so good. Mm. It's just so good. Perfect flavor combination. And the other cheese stack. So this is the bulgogi one, okay. It might just be pork, not beef. Oh, look at the color of the meat. Oh. It's got like some glass noodles in it. Mm. It's the pork. Yeah. Mm. It's got like a herby flavor in there. Mm. I'm not sure what the herb is. Oh man. It's got carrots. But the skin's gonna be glowing. Damn. I kind of prefer this one. Yeah? Mm. I don't. And I'm just I'm disappointed it's not beef. And the beef would have be went better with the cheese. Mm. It was good. I'd eat that all day. There is a spice in there. Ah, oh, yeah. green spice. I can't tell what it is. So have some of this. This is a hot bar. It's basically a fish cake, but it should be a slightly spicier one, I'm guessing. Right. A hot bar. Very fishy. Is that like ham in the middle? What is that? It looks like ham, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely tastes some fish. I'm not really getting much. This one you can dip in ketchup as well. I was about to do that. Mm -hmm. So all that will catch up. All right, most about. For the sauce, these are a bit of a win. It's kind of flavorless without it, isn't it? What service sort of stations like in America? There's like rest stops just for you to get a, go to the bathroom. And then... It's not like a thing there. I mean, there are definitely service stations. We kind of just eat whenever we pulled over for gas. We just find like a fast food place mm. and just eat there. In England, we do have it, and in England, you often have a hotel there as well. Yeah. that would be like a mini hotel and. Uh, Oh, what? The food thing, the fuel station. It's not as nice as Korean ones, and you certainly don't get a river and wakeboarding. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a backdrop to a service station like this before. It's absolutely amazing. I like the heat behind this. It has got a bit of heat. It's a little bit drier. Mm. All in all, I reckon it'll be good in soup. That would be good in soup. I don't like it that much, though, to be fair. I'm in the spice. Yeah, the spice is good, but again, it's just like there's not much flavor. You have one shot. Mm. I think I gotta go one at a time here. Oh, that is tough. The sauce is good. The sauce is good, man. Lovely sauce. A combination of rice cake and sausage. Definitely onto something. So for those who don't know, John is a huge peanut butter lover. I think like the day I got to your house, I went to the store. <laughs> yeah, he loves peanut butter. Is this like beef jerky of squid? Yeah. This is tough to chew, but... I do taste the peanut butter. <laughs> Bizarre. Better or worse than without peanut butter? I'm not getting much peanut butter. It's yeah. Fine. I feel like I should drink some water first. I really do like the texture though. The mm. texture of it's awesome. Lovely texture. Pretty much spot on. 